Hey, what's up YouTube? Well, I'm just uh, making this video to give you guys an update of what's going on with anti of my race car that I wrecked last November. Um, in the last video I showed all the damage of what's going on. And I'm actually driving through Tennessee right now to go see my chassis guy. Um, so I brought it to him in the end of June, it was like June 25th, 26th, something like that. And um, after he looked it over and went through everything of all the damage and all that stuff, he um, basically told me that, you know, the rocker panel on the bottom where everything got hit was pushed in about two inches. It even kind of pinched in the, uh, you know, the frame and all that stuff. And for him to try to fix it and all that stuff would cost me a lot of money probably probably more than ten to fifteen thousand dollars ten to fifteen thousand dollars just to you know see if he can even fix it weld everything back together and he still wasn't even confident that the car would be safe for what I'm doing with it and all the speeds and all that stuff so unfortunately I uh, made the decision to part ways with anti-social and sell it to a very nice guy named William and his wife out of Virginia and um, so I ended up having my chassis guy find a Fox body shell where he went and picked it up um, and basically now I'm having a tube chassis car built from scratch so I thought it would be wise that if I'm gonna spend money into something what I had was a stock suspension Mustang, you know, going over 150 something miles an hour in the eighth mile. Um, probably better for me just to start over and build a new car. So I'm heading there now to get an update on it. He's had it since, uh, well, he got the shell maybe in July. So he's been working on it for a few months. And, um, so I'm going there now to kind of get an update and take a video of it for you guys and see what the status is. Uh, he's been sending me pictures and everything's been looking really, really good. It's top-notch quality work. He bought the the chassis kit from S&W Race Cars, which came in a whole kit, and uh, he altered, you know, some bars to his own little way because... It was built for a 33-inch tire, a big tire car, where I'm running a 275 tire, small, radial class tire. And um, another thing is he, when he took the motor out of the car, turned it over, there was some water that came out of uh, one of the exhaust ports, which means that I only ran water inside the block and the intake. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, in the cylinder heads in the intake, not in the block. Uh, I had a solid copper head gasket. Well, it means some of the water's getting through there and went to the number three cylinder. Um, so I ended up taking the the engine back to my house. I tore it all down, down to the only thing that was in there was the crankshaft, and I rehoned out all the cylinders, put the, you know, cleaned everything up, put the pistons back in and the rods, and I cleaned everything up. And while I was at it, I went ahead and pulled it, put a new camshaft in there because the one I had in the motor was uh, from like, 2007 I bought used at the time when I was building the motor I bought it used just to slap it together um, wasn't even specced out for my combo or anything and so who knows what it was even what if it what was lacking or holding me back or whatever so um, if you can see I've got the maybe not the engine is back there in the back of my Explorer right now and I'm taking it to him so I freshened everything up, put a new camshaft in it, um, put the heads back down, new copper uh, head gaskets. I am not going to run water anymore because uh, it seemed to be problematic with the winter and it freezing and all that stuff if it's sitting in my garage or my trailer. So um, I'm running alcohol, so I don't really think I need to, you know, in the motor and it's, you know, it stays really cool and I'm getting pushed back you know to and from the lanes and then when I end my pass I'm getting pulled back with my my golf cart so it's not running for a whole lot of time so 
I'm not going to run any water in it anymore, so I don't think I should have that problem anymore. But, um, so I'll, um, I will take another video when I get to his shop and I'll see if I can get a, a nice walk around of what everything's going on and uh, get an update of where he's at and I will uh, show you guys the car. All right, see you then. I've seen it. Just pictures.